ADC Memorial, a member of the FIDH, the Worldwide uh, Federation for Human Rights, recently, on 8th of March, launched a large campaign in Eastern Europe and the ex-Soviet Union republics, uh, allowing for greater demands for access of women to work. This has uh, this resonates in these countries because they have inherited Soviet laws which prohibit women from accessing many jobs qualified as hard jobs or hazardous jobs in these countries. But in fact, what it has meant is that women do not have the liberty of choosing themselves what jobs and what uh, labor opportunities they would like to reach. The All Jobs for All Women campaign in Tajikistan finds itself in a specific situation. Tajikistan is one of the poorest countries of the ex-Soviet Union, uh, having undergone civil war and the departure of about two million men on the population of seven million to find jobs in Russia. So women are actually shouldering the burden of the economy in Tajikistan, knowing that 80% of women work in the rural areas. However, the fact that they cannot choose their jobs outside this uh, traditional labor market means that they're not also studying in that, in that direction. So they are not also involved in decision-making processes. So both CEDAW committee and many other international organizations active in Tajikistan, including our own uh, campaign, uh, we are trying to see if the two laws in the work code of Tajikistan 160 and 161 can be modified, opening this opportunity to women to be part of the labor market as equally as men and based on their own choice.